against Macquarie University. So it must be the, certainly the favourites after winning the major semi and advancing straight into the grand final. And being in mind the Premier. He's only losing one game this year. That was to New South Wales early on in the season and um, they've had their unchecked record since then. Coached by Dave Daly, Macquarie coached by Kevin McGarrity. Macquarie, very, quite a strong side led by the captain Brian Johnson and CC led by the captain Craig Hassel. Hey Grum. Mate, how are you? Good mate. And there's a kick off and the kick off by Macquarie University down to CC. And it's left to bounce and it's taken by Baker and it's a kick right back. Responding, using the wind. And there's a kick back to the fullback, Macquarie fumbles. CC are on, okay, two, two forwards meeting the defence. He's played, put on the deck, CC line of defence is there already, Macquarie coming back, dummy half has a run. He moves up, he's tackled by three CC players there, Smitty and Pete Misford. Plays the ball back now. And it goes to Whitey. Whitey has a run from dummy half. And he's tackled again. He gets up to play the ball. Play the ball back now to Brian Johnson. Jono has a run with the headgear. He's a danger man. They need to really watch him. He can run hard. He's, he's a strong tackler. And their captain. Back it goes now to um, Bryce Palm. He puts in the left foot boot down towards touch. It bounces back away from Gaddy. And it bounces out. Well, it's an unfortunate bounce there for Tony Gaddy. Never mind. And the ball's out. So, um, should be a CC feed and Macquarie loose. Steve Hampson, the halfback for CC to put the ball in. And it's a ball's in there somewhere, it's screwing around. And the referee, one of the forwards, one of their forwards has dived on the ball, the hooker. And the referee's let it go. Anyway, Mick Timone takes it up. He's tackled well by um, Daniel Anderson. Timone gets up to play the ball. Back it goes now to um, Palmer. Out it goes to Grumley. Grumley takes it on now the front rower. He takes it up and he's tackled by Mudd and Pete Misford. Plays the ball back now, out it goes now to Grumley. Grumley looking for support, there's no one there. Shapes out to Whitey, Whitey out to the outside centre, he moves up and he's tackled there and put the ground. <laughs> so the fourth tackle, fifth tackle actually, Macquarie University, 30 yards out from the CC line. Back it goes to Grumley, he chips ahead, he looks for open spaces, out it goes, Baker's back there, is he going to let it go? No, he picks it up in the dead ball line, he steps once, he steps twice, and oh, he's not out in the field of play. It's a good chip and it's a good chase there from Macquarie University, outside backs. It's a goal line dropout to be taken by CC. And the cloud's really coming over here. We've had fine weather here at the um, David Phillips over with the cloud at the back of this green stand. He's threatening and travelling eastwards. And I think it will bring rain as the plane goes overhead. And it's a good kick and it's found touch. It's a great kick there from Mark Baker. Gaining at least 38 yards for the scrum to be put in. It'll be a Macquarie Uni feed and a Macquarie Uni loose. Both packs ready. Put their foot to win. The ball's in. Oh, so it gets a feed. It's a great win by Pete Misford. Hampo runs. He looks for Millsy. Millsy's got some room. And they swarm in on him. He's a danger man. They need to really watch him. Millsy plays the ball back to Hampo. Out it goes to Smitty. Smitty takes the ball up. Oh, he's met in a heavy tackle there from Mick Timone. Smitty down on the ground. He gets up the play back to Pete Misford. He's looking for Millsy. Millsy to Daniel Anderson. Good strong runner. Good ball skills, Daniel Anderson. They've got to watch him today. Plays the ball back to Pete. Out it goes to Millsy. Millsy steps. Looks inside. There's no one there. To Lynchy. And they swarm in on Lynchy. CC aren't really, they don't look too organised at the moment. They haven't settled into their pattern. Lynchy plays the ball to, to Pete. And it goes to Baker. Baker looks for the clearing kick. Kicking it over there to the winger. And it bouncing over his head and in the touch. That's a great kick by Mark Baker. Good kick. Finding yards, about 30 yards out from the Macquarie University line. You going? Yeah. Okay, mate. I'll see you on that. Just talking to Bury then. Hey mate, you gonna, you gonna do this, some of this too? Yeah, I'll Oh shit. That's alright. And it's a win by Macquarie University and Grumley's taking the ball up and he's tackled. <laughs> First man off the ruck takes it up and he's met by three CCE defenders. Plays the ball now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, See you, Mick. Penalty to Macquarie University, about 45 yards out from their own line. In the midfield. Rixie, come and sit up here. <laughs> it's a good kick by Macquarie. We've gained about 20 yards there. It puts them about 30 yards out from the CC line. And 
the ball is tapped there by uh, Boris Palmer. Looks for support and there's a dummy run and he gives it to the second man. He's tackled well there by Bono. Now it goes from how it goes to Mick Timone, he's running straight, he's a danger man, they need to watch him, he's lost the ball, it's well take, taken off him by Martin Anderson. There's a run from dummy half by Marty, Marty gains about five yards, they still can't put him down, he's still going, it's a good run. Palmer comes in to assist. Anyway, he's about 49 yards out from his own line. Marty gets up to play the ball to Pete. Cuts out Millsy to Mud. He's a strong runner. He always bumps off one. He's a hard man. He, he can't wait. Get off him. Just like the major semi-final. There's a lot of niggling in the tackles and the referee's consistent. And then penalty to CC there. Good kick here from Mark Baker. Should put CC in an attacking position. Yeah, it's not bad. He's going about 15 yards there. See what they can put on here. What move have they got? Hampo to take the tap. He's looking for runners. Anyway, to Mud. Mud runs straight. He runs hard, and they put him down. He gains about 10 yards. Looks like they're going to wrap it the same way. Yes, it is. Out of Daniel Anderson. Something must be going on down here. The blind. Hand pass the dummy half. And he goes switch to the blind. Inside ball to Baker, and Baker's tackled there. Is it? Bones has a run. He steps. He beats one. He's, oh, he's getting close to the line. And he's trying to make it. Oh, and he's nearly there. He's about one yard out. They need a quick play of the ball. They're a bit thin on the blind side here, Macquarie University. Quick hands is needed. Oh. No, it's knocked on and it's Macquarie University ball. They're about... No, they've, they've got the ball and... No, it's just... What's going on here? Okay, commentator here. We have uh, Mr. Mark Ricks. He's um, his professional views and opinions on the game. It's been a very hard start to the game, big as we probably would expect it to be. Very, very tough encounter in the forwards. Dave Mills gave, giving away a cheap penalty. David has to watch that. Oh, good attempt. David has to watch that because um, he has been the uh, has been baited in the past and has been guilty on some occasions himself of getting involved with some behind the scenes play, Dick. But still, that's something which he'll have to watch. Seems to be a little bit of uh, an altercation with actually he puts the ball in the scrum here. Macquarie has decided to do just that. Feeds it in the second row. And they win the ball when they're put to the ground. The 5'8 being Mr. Grumley. Who's that down? Who's that? That's Dave Mills down. That's Dave Mills down. He's involved. Perhaps the touch judges might be able to uh, report on that a little bit later, Dick, but it doesn't seem like they're doing so now. The forwards have been put to the ground strongly, heavily. It's about three tackles so far. Solid tackle. But he falls off him. Oh, the ball's been... There's a charge down. There's a chance definitely here. He's picked the ball up. He's got a score. He's called a knock on. Definitely called a knock on. Some CCE... Sections of the CCE crowd are not happy with that decision, Dick. No, not at all. They thought they um, knocked down. They could have been in a, um, a play on there. And as Marty took the ball, they thought they were in for a try. A definitely six-pointers behind the... Um, behind the post. Now, just quickly for a uh, weather report, we have Johnny Croucher here. Well, I'd just like to put, put him up, pass him over to you. Um, yes, and by popular demand, we find that um, the books have $45,000 in the pool with CCE judged to be the winner. 24 points to six. That's the most popular score, 24 points to six. And as I look over to my right, as there's a good ball here from Millsy to low. Oh, nearly an intercept, knock on. CCE feed and loose. The storms are approaching from the west-hand side. This could have an interesting factor on the game. Back to you, Dick. Righto, there's been a knock down there. They've got to play the first the first knock on. It's going to be a CC feed and a CC loose. In there goes Hampo. Hey, referee wants it again. Out the same tunnel. Boris Palmer, very quick. The Bokori University halfback to jump on at Hampo. Something's coming on in the blind here. The Baker. Baker steps. He beats what? He beats. Oh, he's trying to get out of the tackle. Out to Millsy. Millsy's looking for Gaddy. And Gaddy going. Go, Gaddy. Gaddy's going. Oh. The referee's pulled it back. I think it's a forward pass. Yes, that's the signal the referee's giving. Well, it would have been on there for Gaddy. I think he may have nearly put a foot out, but um, really showing, showing blistering speed. Anyway, the ball will be put on by Palmer. The referee wants it again. The. Um, the scrums obviously is not, not facing straight on. They're facing out the sideline here. And he's having a few words with CC front row. The ball's in. Oh, don't think that went in the front, in straight. Anyway, Palmer has a run. Hampo's quickly on him. He puts him into the scrum. That's Smitty, sorry. 
Anyway, the front rower has a run. He's tackled by Lynchy and taken by Smitty. Have to play the ball. Back he goes to um, Steve Timone. He turns, he pivots, and he's tackled there by Pete Misford and Daniel Anderson. He'll get up to play it. Pete goes down to Grumley. Grumley looks for a forward runner. He's got one out there. First off the ruck. And they're about 45 yards out from the main line. And, and um, the referee's called out a play. I think it's the 5'8". David Mills here for an uh, infringement in the tackle. And it's a penalty to uh, Macquarie University. I don't think these penalties are warranted in a grand final like this. What do you think, Mark? Oh, Dick, if you do the wrong thing, you deserve to get pinned, mate. But David's just, uh, you know, like he, he's always just a little bit of a problem there. He gets a little overexcited. Certainly I didn't see anything there, but in the past he has been guilty of these sort of infringements. That's a big, that's a big kick, but of course it doesn't gain very much distance at all. It's a very important, um, very important to note, Dick, that this time of the game that the wind is very strong blowing in from the city end. And uh, it, I don't like to put points on a breeze, as some other co of my co-commentators from rival stations have done, but I still believe that the wind is a very important factor, and it may be that if CCE don't get some points on the board in this first half and don't get what is or should amount to a substantial lead, that pressure will certainly be on them in the second half as Macquarie begin to storm back. CCE have done very little kicking as yet. Oh, that's a, it's a swivel, it's a turn, it's a pirouette. It's a Canadian free step, a little bit of a foxtrot. And he's made him about six or seven metres. Hey, Goody. CCE defending at the moment, just inside their own side of the halfway. The ball now with, now with the uh, Macquarie University forwards. The defence has been strong so far. That's Small taking the ball up for Macquarie. He's decked. Curry has the ball now. The chip kick is on. Useful kick, but Gattis positions himself very well. Takes the ball immediately, put it to the ground by Corsantamone. Bones. Doesn't make as, as significant a gain as he did some little while ago, Dick, when he almost put the ball down between the black dot. CC have been on the receiving end of a couple of dubious decisions so far. Perhaps not casting any dispersions upon the referee because even in the UC University Cup, you know, the fine situation applies. Smithy has a ball and he's put down oh, 12 metres inside his own half. Gets to the ground, gets to his feet slowly. The kick is in. It's a useful kick, useful. Chasers, chasers! Interesting that the first person down there is the captain of the side. Right, the red-headed front row forward, Bullock, Mudguts. He tackles and he makes the second tackle as well. The ball is played. Johnson with the ball now. Good solid competitor to Johnson, but he puts the ball down. Oh, the referee's decided six again. Another decision which favours the Macquarie University side. Rather contentious somewhat. They're very flat-footed at the moment, Dick. Yes. They um, haven't really got their pattern organised yet, but um, they should settle down here and try and reef the ball downfield. Cecil, you have a very good, very strong breeze behind them. Anyway, the front row takes it up there. He's met by Mick Smith and Lynch. He gets back to play it now. He's looking for a runner. He's found a forward on the blind. That's good market defence from Cecil. They've really kept them in their 25 for the last four tackles. He plays the ball back. It goes to Mick Tomain. Mick Tomain, he's a good runner. He's strong. He's made yards. They can't put him down. He's made about 20 yards there. It's a good run from Margaret Tomain. He plays the ball back kick from dummy half. It's up in the air. No pressure for Gaddy. Hey, Gaddy takes it. they got to watch him. He's fast. He beats one, but he can't beat Whitey. Whitey comes with him pretty quickly, and Gaddy's tackled. The CC falls into regroup and organises their attack. Had it back now. It played back now to um, Skinner. Skinner has a run. He steps off the right foot, and he's met by the Macquarie University forwards. Skin plays the ball. Pete Miss for dummy half, looking for runners, it's a Tuesday, out to Bono, Bono takes it up, as a cloud really is coming in over here, it's really getting dark at the David Phillips oval here, Hampo with a chip, he's looking for chases, but the ball's been knocked down and it's been regathered, and it's um, not six again, it's not six again, it's the fifth tackle, Hampo from dummy half, straight to the winger, they've got to move up and take him, he runs and he... He jinx. Hambo's there to take him. Ran the legs was um, Most Bono. Jink that one dig. Most insignificant jink. Put on a little bit of pressure there because the chip kick just prior to that last kick was um, was charged down and a correct decision, I believe, by the referee. One of the few that he has made actually this during the game. So Macquarie with the ball and they push the ball forward. They now push it wide. Johnson, no nonsense, sort of a footballer. Palmer, he, he offloads to Palmer, who's put to the ground just inside the 20, just inside the halfway line, actually. The ball now in the Macquarie. 
Oh, and the ball has been stolen by Bones. He's away. The defence closes in very quickly, and he's turfed about 14 metres inside the Macquarie University side of halfway. Mills has the ball at the moment. I believe it is Mills, is it not? It is, and he's put to the ground. Yes, well, the cloud is coming in. It wasn't actually, it was Skinner. Amp Ampo has the ball. He gets the ball away. It's Stanley Anderson. Gets over to Baker. Again, the defence closes in. He offloads again. Smithy's put down about only about 12 metres outside. This is a good opportunity for CCE. They've got about two tackles remaining. Oh, useful run, useful run. Pit Skinner, I believe, was it? Daniel Anderson. Oh, there's a knock-on and a knock-on by Macquarie University. Quite a lucky break there, really. The ball was on the fifth tackle. Trying to push the pass. I wouldn't be surprised if we had a change track reading with this um, with this cloud coming in very soon. Track at the moment is on the uh, the dead side of slow, but it is rumoured that it's going to rain very very soon. In fact, it's very dark. It, <laughs> by God, it's dark out there at the moment. CCE have won one against. No, they have not. In fact, they've lost one against the head. Dave Mills takes the uh, the halfback, Mr. Palmer, just around the scrum base. They work the ball out. Not a lot of organisation there. To moment, the bully ducks under a high tackle there, swinging a harm tackle from White. Bones White. A little bit of by play there between White and Timone. Amounts to absolutely zero. Johnson with the ball. CCE. Defence quite strong at the moment, although they're a little grouped. Little bunch. It's a floater. Palm with the ball. Makes two or three. Quite a, an elusive run. And a profitable gain there by the Macquarie University side. They're about nine metres inside the halfway line. On the fifth tackle, the kick is in. One, two, three. Many bounces, actually. The ball runs well for the for the Macquarie side. Baker has the ball. He's ringed by many defenders. He detects to go wide, beats one. I think he's beaten two. And he's, no, please don't pass the ball, Mark Baker, and he, which he did not. He has his head attempted to be ripped off from his shoulders, but it is unsuccessful. Gat has the ball. Attempting to take the pressure from his forwards, which he does so with a degree of success. About one degree, actually. They're just just on the 22. I can see a bird flying away in the direction of the north. A blackbird. If I was him, I'd be flying there too. Getting away from that rain. Now, an interesting, an interesting. Here we have Matthew Flint coming onto the field. What? Um, this and it doesn't look like he's replacing anybody who is injured. This could be a head been changed. You think? Oh yes, we do have an injury. We have, I think this this might be coarser, is it not? Or is it small? Macquarie University forward is running from the field. The halfback from Macquarie University has to be offside. The referee decides that that is so. No, in fact, he penalises the inside backs. An important change to the Macquarie University side, Dick. Yes, Matthew Flint, he's a uh, ball playing forward, and I think he's replacing a forward who's a very straight up and down sort of forward. But I don't know whether he's replacing him. I think this could be a Henderbin change, actually. I think this um, guy over here, um, Steve Timone, that's right. I can tell from the distance, it's very hard to see. I'm not sure whether he'll be going back on the field, but we'll find out more about that later. Back to the action, it's Mark Baker. Just as the rain starts to come down here at the David Phillips Oval, well, Mark Baker is kicked for line. He's gained about 20 yards there. Uh, yes, a bit, a bit more than rain as these clouds are really coming in from the um, west as the ducks fly over towards the south. He waits to play the ball to Misford. Back it goes to Hampo. So the run around. Inside the ball to a CC forward there and he's taken out. I can't quite see who it is from here. It's a play the ball back. And it goes to Hamp Millsy. Marty. Marty looks for runners. He's tackled. They can't put him. He's Baker, is it? Baker plays the ball, and then it goes to Hambo. Hambo steps his beach ones. He looks for inside ball. And the ball's on the deck, and it's a Macquarie University ball. As the rain is starting to settle in here, and they can really expe expect some harsh conditions within the next 15 to 20 minutes. As there's thunder behind us in the western skies. Over in the east, as you can see, there's, uh, well, as you would have seen before, it's uh, beautiful. 
clear blue sky. Well, back to the action. The scrum is just about to be put down. In front of me is Dave Daly, and um, he's taking down vital statistics and analysing the progress of his side as there's been a lightning flash. And the ball's won by Macquarie University. At the Grumley, he steps, but Mills is on him straight away. This will be a good confrontation between Mills and Grumley. They're two very good players. Plays the ball. Back goes Macquarie Uni forward. He takes it up, and he's met. Been nothing so far in the game. It's been um, very tight defence. Both sides using their different variations in attack. Play the ball now. The hooker has a run. He's made some yards. He's, he's stepped. He goes up the centre of the ruck. So you see the defence is good. There's the wingers drop back and the rain comes down here at David Phillips Oval. And the, foot, the ball's been kicked down. It's gone. It's going down past Mark Baker. And it's right into touch. That's a great kick. That kick is about... Three, three yards outside the CC line. And it's very difficult, the very difficult conditions, rather. I think it's like being in the north of England here. Um, what do you think, Mark? Well, <clears throat> this is what rugby league's all about, Dick. I mean, it's just the unpredictability of it all. It is hail, there's wind. It's cold enough to freeze the balls of a billiard table here. And, the, and at the moment, it's very even hard to hear. It's hard to see. It's hard to talk. My God. I've never seen anything like this. Could, I think there's a real, I think there's a real risk of danger to the players if this continues. It's a terrifying scene out here. We're going to get commentator here. It's very hard to talk. The commentator from the third grade game. Oh, this is excitement plus as rugby league comes alive here at the David Billups Field. This is unbelievable, ladies and gentlemen. Playing down it when I played in 1954. I played down the Snowy River, down the Snowy River there. This is unbelievable, mate. What do you think about that? That's a lot of picturesque sight. Well, this is football in the Swiss Alps. This reminds me of the 48-49 Kangaroo Tour. You and I were there. This is ridiculous. It's raining, mate. I hate to say, but they're as big as golf balls. Well, I seen one out there that was that was as big as a football. It was brown, too. Well, I hope those guys have bought their skis. At the moment, they still got the footballs on. Dave Daly is called for the skis. Michelle Dupree, ah, oh, this is a joke. Call it off. Dave Daly said to call it off. This is not a test of football skill. Well, I don't know, but the old song goes on dreaming of a white Christmas. Well, as a matter of fact, I'm dreaming about... I'm dreaming dreaming about a white grand final. What a game. This is magic. It's not a game. This is a shame. Oh, a, look at well, he's got for a little ski. Bring your toboggan next time, boy. Oh, and it's... Someone's going to get hurt out here. It's, it's lightning. Oh, call it off, sir. What a hit. This is rugby really at its best. Oh, hang on, we've taken over. We only came up to say how we love the white Christmas. Back to the fellas. Well, we're in August, but I thought it was a white Christmas in um, New York in December. Here we are, David Phillips. Well, back to the football. Let's call the football. Let's don't worry about the weather. Anyway, the ball's dropping everywhere. I'm not too sure what's going to happen. A scrum's going to go down. The field is in a blanket of white. The ball will be put in by, by CCE. Steve Hampson to put the ball in. He puts the ball in. It's a CCE ball. Hambo makes a run. Hambo is tackled. He gets up, plays the ball. Back it goes to Smitty. Smitty makes a run. He's hit hard with a good tackle by Macquarie University. Well, the oval is just about a blanket of whiteness. I cannot believe it. Anyways, Millsy makes a run. He passes the ball. But anyway, um, as the play goes on, it's over the far side. Back to Mark, Mark Rick, just a few general comments. I think you're about to see something that you might have never seen on a rugby league field. David Daly is going into the touch charge. I think there's, in, there's going to be some talk of stopping the game until this, until this is, uh, yes, the touch charge is on the paddock. Oh, this is just, oh, this is, uh, this is more than rugby league. Yeah, they're, they're calling the players from the field. My God, this is just something which is, this is something which I have never seen on a rugby league field. 
Right -o. We'll be back shortly. Bradbury League at a standstill here at David Fellows Field. Well, we're back live. Scenes that have never been witnessed out here or in very few sporting ovals in the world. The game being stopped when there is real danger to the players from both sides and, of course, the referee. And who can forget the referee? A very important man out in the field. Extraordinary scene whereby we must have just had an, a, one of the huge cloud bursts that hailed. There was thunder and lightning. The ground blanketed in white. The game about to recommence, though. See if us, perhaps the side that recovers from this short break quickest and maintains the intensity will get the benefit by it. It's 15 to go before half time. In a game which will go down in the annals of University Cup football. It's the first time the grand final has ever been stopped. Oh, well taken from Gat. Oh, a bit of a, a, bit of a high shot. Just c comes to nothing. No danger to the player. It's still a little high. Bills of the ball. Kicking game's got to be kicking game. Yeah, the kicking game, very important, Dick. Very important part of this game, particularly now with the... Uh, now that it's very slippery. I think you'll, uh, if you'll see the sides adopting pretty much no-nonsense type football. Short passes. Oh, well, there we have... Uh, no. Did well to chase that ball then after making the mistake. Got back, got after the ball, still on the ground. But created an impression for the crowd and come up with a ball. But the scrum will take place 10 metres or thereabouts just inside the New South the, 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 the CCE side of half. Macquarie were in the ball. As is to be expected. As they fed the ball, to home with the ball. He makes a valuable 7 metres. Gets up quickly, plays the ball. Quarry still just outside the 22 now. They're about eight metres outside the 22. Flint takes the ball and he loses it. He's a CCE, can't handle it. Macquarie University try to regather. They fail. Scrums all around. Just inside the 22. Quarry University adopting an interesting ploy here, Dick, with the scrums that when they don't have the ball, they, uh, they're tending to screw. Coming out quite successfully. I think they've got one or two out. One, I think one at least, anyway. One uh, against the head. Good yards from the scrum there by um, Steve Hampson. Oh, indeed, indeed. I concur wholeheartedly. CCE with the ball. Leading the way by example. Mudguts. He plays the ball. About 12 metres outside the CCE. Hampo. Oh, he's put the ball down. Oh, excuse me. I think there's something... Something has just gone wrong, gone over there. Hambo's been here with the ball. No, no, he's not penalising, he's not penalising Macquarie, I think. I think he's penalising CCA. An extraordinary event, Dick. I... Oh, my goodness. Well, they're going to have a kick a goal, and this is the first time that this has happened in the game. A game that's had everything. It's had rain, it's had thunder, it's had lightning, it's had hail, it's had stoppages of play. It's had hard hits, it's had soft hits, it's had missed hits. It's had everything. It's had good commentating and bad commentating. Definitely good commentating this game, uh, Mark. Yes, I would probably agree there too, Dick. <laughs> now, even this, comp this kick is about 35, would you say, Dick? 35 metres out. It still won't be an easy kick with the slippery conditions. I think he'd have to, he'd have to strike this pretty sweet to be able to... Uh, Put it over. The raffle down here in front of me. Five tickets for a dollar for the bottle of the Jewish Scotch. Not for me, I'm not a drinking man. Here's the kick. I'll tell you what, it's useful. It's wide though. No, it's not wide, it's there. Maybe it's just wishful thinking on my part. The score is 2 0 in favour of Macquarie University. And that's a very important lead. They've got the two points just after the break and. In the second half, it'll be interesting. The wind seems to have swung around somewhat. That was a quite a very strong wind in that very f in that first part of the first half. It's very uh, unusual talking in those terms, but that's what happened. But CCE now behind 2-0. The kick off by Mark Baker. Taken well by Flint. He 
Strong tackle, strong tackle. Righto, Macquarie University, 22 yards out from their own line. They're taking it up. I really think we've seen the end of the rain and the end of the hail. I think we'll have, I think we'll have um, sunshine coming out here and there's a rainbow over to the um, south, southeast. Anyway, back to the football. Smitty, they're locked for um, CC. He's down. He's hobbling. I think it could be a um, cork thigh or something, but any sort of leg injury is very prominent in weather like this. Anyway, he plays the ball now. Beckett goes now. Beckett goes to Palmer. Left foot boot. He's looking for a kick. I think it's, um, it's going down to Gaddy. Gaddy knocks it back, but it's still... The penalty to CC is for interference, I think, with one of the guys trying to put pressure onto the kicker. That's right, the hooker. No, or mouthing. Mouthing off at the referee. Having a few words. Well, it's 2-0 two, two in favour of Macquarie University in David Phillips Field here. And the sun's coming out with a whiteness on the oval. I think, I really believe it looks like it's that Perisha Valley with a bit with that evening. Um, a lot of in those Oh, no. bit patchy on the rocks, but uh, and it wouldn't do very good for the Solomon skis. Never mind. The, but the test to be taken by Misford. Man, I think there's a player's offside there, but the referee didn't see anything. Anyway, Macquarie University picked the ball up after Lynch. He's knocked on. We can't afford those sort of mistakes. Jono has a run from dummy half. He goes up. He takes him at five yards. He's still taking them with him. That's a good run from the captain of Macquarie University. He gets up to play the ball. He's made valuable yards. He's got pivots on each side of the ruck. The hooker has a run. He's lost the ball. The ball's been knocked out. Anyway, it's a CC ball. I think we're going to see a lot of these errors coming into the game because of the weather. Anyway, the ball's played back to Baker. Baker has a step. It must be a kicking game. We must pump up two for a kick. Daniel Anderson's got the right idea. And you've got to have the chases. That's the right idea. The fullback comes in. He picks the ball up in the wet. We have Baker there. Baker's the first one. He makes the tackle. Good play there from Mark Baker. She so must regroup, gather their defence in one line and move up. Forwards move up. They move up. They tackle. Macquarie Uni are looking for organisation. They need an organiser. Forwards make runs. There's tackles around the legs there. From Pete Misford. Back it goes to Flint. Flint goes for the kick for line, but it won't get there in this condition. Hampson's there to pick up in the second line of defence. He's reliable. He makes yards. Having on the far side. As the sun comes out here at David Phillips Oval, with um, the hail all scattered around the outside of the ground, the hail on the field has melted into just water. It's just going to be a slush game from here on in. Whoever can control the ball must win the game. Back it goes for Misford to Daniel Anderson. He goes, he's got the right idea. The kicking game's on, but maybe not kick to the fullback. Kick between the fullback and the wingers. The fullback takes it up with the head gear. He goes to, piss, to push off. Gaddy's got him, and he tries to put him into touch, but he cannot. He gets up to play the ball. He plays the ball back. It goes to um, to Whitey. He's got no room to move. He's tackled. The CC defence is good. They're very hyped up in that session just before the break with a, with a hailstorm. They're keen. They know they can win this game. They know they're on top, and they're leading by example. But the scoreline doesn't show that. It's 2-0 in favour of Macquarie. The ball's there. Mick Smith dived on it. Baker's a dummy half. CC must really try and regroup themselves, organise their attack. Baker's tackled. He'll have to get up to play the ball to Misford. Misford looking for runners. He's found, um, he's found Smitty. Smitty's down the blind. They must have um, forwards running off pivots. It's Mud. He takes up. He and spins, but he's lost the ball. No one can really be excused. It's going to be a, a, um, an old-fashioned sort of game with forwards taking the ball up and trying to con hit, hit, hit their pattern straight up the middle. Anyway, Macquarie University with the ball, 45 yards out from the CC line. Play the ball down, that goes to Grumley. Grumley looks for support. He's found a runner. The ball's to be played 40 yards out from CC's line. Out it goes to Palmer. He's looking for runners. He's found the second rower. He's tackled stra straight in his tracks. CC defence has been excellent so far. They're concentrating on the fence. That was their main aim. And they've set out and they've done. Palmer's made a break. He's looking. He's looking for support. Oh, Baker with a great tackle. Knocks the ball out of his hand. And he's lost the ball. It's a CC ball. They're defending their line. So they're attacking out from their line about 20 yards. They need to put, take two up and I think a kick is the order of the day. They can't afford to run out in these conditions. You now the forward's taking up over the blind there. They need to organise. They're walking at the moment. Macquarie defence, market defence has been good so far. It's a run from dummy half and he's nearly on his way out over near that far touch line. That's dangerous territory. He plays the ball. Back it goes to Baker with a little useful kick. He's going again, but it's off the shins. He's picked it up. He's made yards. Palmer, they've got to watch him. 
Oh, and it's good defence. There's CC forwards and backs running back on side. He'll get up to play the ball. He plays it. Back it goes to Matt Flint, the replacement. He takes the ball up. He's met by three CC defenders. He gets up to play the ball now. Hooker. Out it goes to Grumley. Looking for outside runners. He's found one, but he's lost it. It's got to be a CC ball. The ball's played. Marty. Marty takes it up. He's looking to get outside his man, but he cannot do that. They swarm in on him as the winger comes in from his sideline. Marty gets up to play the ball. He'll be looking for to forget it. Then to Hampo. Hampo's looking for runners. They're a bit too flat there. Where are the forwards? Wet conditions. It's got to be a forwards game. The ball's got to be reefed downfield. Hampo's made a break. Go Hampo. He's stepping. He's looking for support. Oh, but he can't find anything. But they've overrun it and the ball's on the deck. Grumley's looking for support. He's tackled by Mills. Of over to Mark Ricks, co-commentator. A yeah, strong gain from Hampo. Problem with CCE at the moment is that in the wet conditions, they're finding it hard to, uh, to maintain the con their control in the game. A lot of people too keen to run with the ball. They've had a fair bit of defending and have been under some pressure. Still a lack of commitment, but they're just not being able to... Oh, the Macquarie University have made a break. And he's put the ball on the ground. Oh, he's called a knock-on. of you. I don't believe it. Unbelievable. I mean to sound partial. Oh, Macquarie's got it. This is about six metres outside the CCE line. They're defending grimly. One of the, one of the worst kicks that uh, had been witnessed on the day of Phyllis Field was just put in Matthew Flynn. Getting him nowhere. Two up for the kick has got to be the story. Big miss Got to go for line to force a scrum. Come on forwards, got to do the work, not the centre. The side that can control the ball will most definitely win this match. Danny Gat looks for looks for room, makes a very valuable five metres, gets to just outside the 22. It's about the third or fourth tackle, about the fourth. There's another chip kick. I don't think it's going to come to much. There it is. And the referee has decided that was a knock-on. They're doing that well, Dave. Well, well, well. Rugby League, what a game. CCE win the ball. Ampo, Mills, there's, there's room out wide, there's room out wide. Oh, goodness. Referee's decided there's a knock on. My goodness gracious. Oh, the, the move was on, it was just that he held the ball a little long. The ball was on, it's basically a hands move, maybe a cut out ball. The referee not happy with that feed. Nor would I be happy with it. In fact, I'm not happy with a lot of things at the moment. The ball is a big push. There's a little bit of uh, drama and... Oh, they've decided... Unbelievable. Unbelievable. It's just... Referee walks about another three metres forward to give him a little bit better shot. Extraordinary sequence of events out here. The run of play just going against CCE. Macquarie also playing strongly, but certainly not playing with any authority, nor us CCE. No, really, side has stamped his mark on this game. But the run of play just going towards the green and goals at the moment. Must be very close to half time. This kick could be very vital on four points. A big, is a big margin at this um, this time of the game in this, these conditions. I think uh, in the interest of rugby league, I hope he misses it. It's in the air, it's useful, it's good. No, it's not good. I must be one of the lowest... I must be one of the lowest judges of a, of a goal kick in the world. I thought the first one that was, was a goal was no goal, and I thought the opposite there. Next time I call one, believe nothing I say. The ball has gone out to... Who is that? Who is that, Dick? Um, I can't see. Who is that man? Marty. That's Marty. Marty's, Marty's made a useful, oh, made a useful 20 metres. Solid game. It's 
It's their order of the day. They've got to do it. They just need the chases. Oh, there's something useful. Oh, well, no. The referee decides rules against the knock-on. Fullback's beaten two. No, he hasn't beaten two. He's only beaten one. That was Smithy. Seems to be still favouring that ankle a little. John has the ball. He's put the ground. Quarry's still inside the CC half. Oh, that ball marginal forward. Excuse me, the referee, of course, in absolutely no position to see it. In fact, he's been in no position all game. The ball wide. Says Macquarie holding the ball a little bit better than the CC at the moment. As I say that, they drop it. I think in those bit is ground. It's very sandy ground, and I don't think we're going to get any more rain for the next hour and hour and ten minutes, which I think the game will last for. Um, on the outskirts of the ground, there's a lot of grass in the middle is sort of where it's pretty heavy, but I think the um, ball control will, will really improve in, in the next, um, for, well, obviously for the rest of the game. As Palmer makes a run, he looks for a step, but he's tackled there. He gets up to play the ball. He plays it back. Adonis Grumley. Grumley's looking for a sport. He'll have a run. He'll have a run. He's tackled. Oh, he's knocked the ball out of his hand. He's picked up by Millsy, and Millsy's Johnny on the spot again. He's had, he's had a reasonable game so far. He could get a bit more involved. And it goes to Mud. Mud takes the ball up straight. Head down and straight. That's the way to go. I'd like, I'd like to see more forwards doing this. Anyway, the hoot is gone. We'll get down to the half time for a chat and we'll come back with more information. In the half, in the half time exchange by Coach Dave Daly for CCE. Control is the essence. That's what John McMartin was saying. And um, Dave doesn't want the short kicks. He wants the long kicks and he wants the chases. That means the um, wingers, such as Skin and Getty, Got to get down there and chase the uh, inside backs, Bones and Marty got to be there. Anyway, there's the whistle. Let's get on with the second half. 40 more minutes of football of University Cup left in 1988. Kick off by CC down into the Macquarie University half. Taken by the second row for Macquarie University. He's made a few yards. CC out there in new numbers and new jerseys. Hopefully better for you to um, see who they are and work out positions. Anyway, Macquarie University. 10 minutes this first half is going to be intense. The ball handling will be a, will be a lot better. Anyway, it's a good tackle there from um, Pete Misford. Play the ball now. Back it goes to the second row from Macquarie. It's a good line of defence for CCE. They've got to move up on both sides. And there's a kick put in. It's there. They know the right tactics too. Down to Baker. He's safe. He takes the ball. He moves up and he's, he's tackled by three Macquarie University players. <laughs> Plays the ball now. Back it goes to Gaddy. Gaddy has a run. These conditions, unfortunately, don't suit him. He's a drive with a man. I think the CCE team are a drive with a team, but we'll see how good they are today. I think they can do what the task is in front of them. Anyway, they're a bit flat-footed at the moment. They've got to organise their defence. Macquarie University have come out very hungry in this second half. They're keen, their defence. They're really making progress in attack. Picked up by Millsy. Out it goes to... Um, Bones, and Bones has got the ball inside the hand power. He's looking for support. They're standing flat-footed. Baker spins. He turns. They're not gaining any yards. That's about the fourth tackle. And we've got to get out of here. There goes to Daniel. He looks for the kick. It's a, it's a reasonable kick. The chases have got to be there. That's a good chase. From, um... Oh, it's... They're missing tackles. And it's uh, picked up and tackled very well there by, um... Muddles, leading by example. He goes again for a double, but the, the centre gets away. Whoever control this ball in the second half is going to win the game. 2 0 in favour of Macquarie University here at David Phillips Oval. The second row moves up. He has a run. He's tackled there. One more, then I suggest I'll be putting the kick through. Looking for a runner. They've got the front row forward, taking the ball up. They're looking for the kick. They're looking for a kicker. They'll be looking for a kicker here. The ball's back to Jono. Jono takes it up hard. They've got to put him on the deck. Macquarie University making yards. They've come out well in this um, second half. Back he has to Palmer. He looks for the kick. It's a cross field. Straight to Hampo. He looks for Marty. Marty takes the ball up, and he's going to get tackled. He's tackled just on the halfway line. He'll play the ball to Pete Skinner. Skinner, he takes the ball. He has passes it in to Daniel Anderson. Daniel's going with him. One thing that Dave Daly, the coach, mentioned at halftime is they've got, to, they've got to go in pairs. They can't afford to go one out. And John McMartin backed him up with those words. Anyway, play the ball. Bono had a run. Back goes to Hampo. He's looking for runners. A bit flat. Daryl's looking for looking for room. He's coming back in. He's caught. CC, don't... There's no continuity in attack. There's no variation. They need 
Lynn calls made, and it goes to Mudd. He takes it up. He's beaten one. He bumps off another. It's about the fourth tackle. They got it. No, that's the fifth tackle. They click in the, this corner down here. The far left-hand corner would be the idea. Oh, no. Then it's been knocked on. Knocked on by Mark Baker. Anyway, scrum will go down. It'll be a Macquarie University, Lewis and Macquarie University for you. Over to Mark Ricks for more comments. I think they need to run a little bit from dummy half. They've got the markets chasing out very quickly from, from Macquarie University. So perhaps the dummy and run to... Oh, the ball's been put down. A useful one to win there for CCU. They've had the ball, but still they've been under pressure. It is possible to have the ball and be under pressure. It just happened. Oh, the ball scrum has been screwed. Oh, no. Scrum has been screwed again by Macquarie University, and they've come up with the ball. Paddy Priot is walking into the commentator box. We might get a word from him in just a moment on his reflections upon the first half. A game which has seen everything. Perhaps he might be able to give us the latest in the... Uh, the so have you been down to the, uh, the meteorological unit that we have installed down here and had a look at the, the latest forecast, Paddy? No problems with the weather. It seems to improve and looks like staying that way um, throughout the um, afternoon. The uh, evaporation rate is very slow at the moment and we hope that it increases to improve the standard of this game. Oh, unfortunate penalty there. Oh, holy smoke. I don't think these conditions favour the CC first grade side. It's going to take a courageous effort from here on in. What do you think, young Dick? Well, they're definitely a dry weather side, and Macquarie University have got the forward power. But so will CC, but they've got to really adapt their game to these conditions. As I see, there's a player warming up on the far down here in front of us. Brendan Casey, he's a, he's a forward. And it's, oh, it's on our side here. Whoever can score a try first in this game, I think he's going to win in his second half. Brendan Casey warming up down there from the Macquarie University side. He's a big, strong running forward. I think he's the one they need in these conditions. Anyway, back to the play. Over the far side there. It's a um, scrum going down. It's going to be a CCE loosened feed, and it should be a CCE ball. We'll see if Macquarie screw the scrum. Exactly what they do. They are screwing the scrum, and they've got the ball. It's a tactic they've used all game. You know, it really seems to be putting CC off their game. You can't afford to defend in these conditions. Anyway, Headgear takes the ball up. And he's tackled by Bones. Bones puts him to the deck with the help of Millsy. Pressure on CC now by Macquarie. Anyway, the ball's been taken up. 15, 20 yards out from the CC line. Out it goes to Grumley. Grumley looks for runners. He puts someone through a gap. Oh, he's going for the... Oh, he's just caught in cover defence. But he throws the ball away and is out of the sideline. And the sideline... The linesman there acknowledges by putting his flag up. It'll be a scrum. It'll be a CCE loose. And it'll be a CCE feed. <laughs> Bagger. Bagger. He wants that again. It's out the same tunnel. What's David, what's the score in the... Oh, thank you. It's a, is it a penalty, or does he want it again? Obviously moving off the mark. He's going to have to talk to um, both front rowers here because uh, whoever's got the loose, I think he thinks they're marching towards the fence, and they go in again. It should be a CC ball. And it is. Oh, Hampo nearly made a bust there, but Grumley, uh, um, sorry, Palmer was on him quickly. And it's got to be a penalty to CC. That's what we want. We need a good kick here, maintain some sort of pressure, and show some variation in attack. It'll be a kick taken by Mark Baker. Hopefully he can gain about 20 yards here. I oh, know the ball's heavy and waterlogged. That's a good kick. That's not too bad in these conditions. Right, I see you approximately about 32 and a half yards out from their own try line. Taps taken. Taken by Lynchy. He goes hard. He goes straight. They've made him. He's you know, made about 10 yards there. He's brought the ball up to about 45 yards outside of CC line. Back it goes from Pete. Had it goes to Mud. A slow motion football here in these wet conditions, and it's um. You know, it's very hard for the crowd to become entertained. Something needs to happen quickly. And it goes to Hampo. Looking for runners. Daniel. Oh, it's fast. It was going. And the ball's on the deck. That's another scrum. We can't afford to force these errors. The game won't flow our way. They won't have any opportunity if errors are made. Well, it's just Macquarie Uni loose and Macquarie Uni feed. Referee wants them to stand up. And they put it in. Ball goes in. Oh, he wants it out again. It was a CC ball then. Palmer to put the ball in. Fullbacks opposite each other. No back lines deep because they're not sure who's going to get the ball in these conditions. Anyway, it's Macquarie ball. Palmer has a run over the ambient side. The lock chases Smitty and he's got him. He's taken him. He's held him up. 
So you see defence Greed groups, they move up in one straight line, out it goes to Timon, Timon runs straight, he's a hard man to put down. They put him in the dirt there, that's a good tackle from Bono. And Daniel Anderson, he plays the ball bow, back it goes to Grumley, back it goes to Flint, Flint has a run. He doesn't get very far, it's a swinging arm here. If they're going to do those sort of things, they can't afford to give him away in front of the post and about 40 yards out. Tell you what, if he kicks his goal, I'll do a lap of this over in the undies on my head, I'll tell you. If he kicks his goal, if he has a shot, I'll put 50 bucks on this kick, he won't get it. Lucky he bought two pair of undies, Dick. Actually, thank God I uh, made that bet because he didn't even take a shot at goal. He, uh, the hooker decided to have a tap. Anyway, back to the action. Had it goes now to Brian Johnson. He's a hard man to put down. He takes a run. He's running a bit crossfield here, there. He could have run a bit straighter. He plays the ball now. Back it goes. Dummy half having a run down the short line. CC defence reasonably organised there. There's a few holes next to the referee on the right-hand side of him. They need to move up. And the run, front row is running for it, but they put him on the deck. Anyway, they're about 15 yards out from the CC line. Perfect opportunity for them to mount some sort of attack. Gets up to... He plays... Something's going on here. I think they might be organising a um, kick. Oh, he's had a look. He's had a look. That's right. And he's lost the ball. It's going to be another scrum. If only CC could have got that ball, it would have been the advantage. But unfortunately, it's a scrum. More comments here from Mark Ricks. Bangers made. Vegas great ground. Makes about a good 20 metres down the blind side. On the dry side of the ground over there. I think it's... Oh, Tony Getz put the ball down on the second tackle. <sighs> Score is 2-0. The play's in CCE's half and the pressure's on. The ball about 20, 35 metres outside from the CC line. Macquarie mounting another raid. CC have yet to put any real pressure on the uh, the Macquarie backs, the Macquarie side in the this side of the half. Johnson again running strongly, frees his hands, chooses not to pass. He's had a strong game, Johnson. On the 22 on the fifth tackle. The chase is out. That's a useful kick. Taken very well by Finn Skinner. Skinner locks up, does well. Janelle Macquarie. Baker makes a very, very worthwhile 10 metres. Mills, Muddy's put the ball down. Macquarie's come up with the two. There's a little bit of few little things sort of happening there at the moment. The referees decide to play on. Oh, I don't believe what's happened then. Extraordinary passage of play. Referees decided to just keep the ball alive, let the ball be played while there was plenty happening. Decided therefore to penalise CC for being inside the five. Macquarie University, are they going to kick for goal? I think they are. Ball's still only about 26 metres out, but it still is going to be a pretty useful kick if you can put it over. Might be too useful if you're a CCE supporter. It's a time out. If he kicks his on all that with the on my head. Big Butler has... You heard it here. Dick Butler is going to do a lap of the over with his undies on his head. If he can put this over. Is it worth it? Dick's just checked. Dick's, Dick's just undone his fly to make sure what calorie he's got on. The kick is. Kicks under the bar. That was just as well because Dick didn't have any undies on. Skinner has the ball. He's taken... About a metre out from his own line, and he slid back by Timon. Pete Mifford makes three. Kick is downfield. Taken well. Taken well. 
Chase is strong, but they're still only about 35 metres, less less 30 metres outside from the uh, CC line. The ball goes wide, Johnson. No, it's not the Johnson, it's a fullback who also has a headgear. From, he's put to the ground. The ball is about 18 metres out now from the CC line. The ball pushed out to the left-hand side. Was it blind? And in fact, put into touch. Macquarie sus mounting sustained pressure. CCE responding, but still unable to mount any in reply. CCE ball, referee, referee decides that we can't have CCE winning the ball. Decides to bring it back. Strong heel, very clean heel. Ampo wins, takes the ball away from the scrum. CCE still unable to get that ball. It's interesting to note that the uh, Macquarie University side are getting on very quickly. Referee has yet to look to this side during this sixth. Strong kick, strong kick. Chase it, Skinner. Oh, useful kick. Oh, yeah. Hey, hey. Touch charges heard. You can hear the crowd. You can hear the crowd right in front of us here in the microphone. There was cone, tones of consternation as that ball went out into touch, or the foot went out into touch. The ball was attached to the foot, figuratively speaking. CCE with the ball, no, Macquarie with the ball, and they're just inside their own side of the half. No, they're just inside of CCE's side of the halfway. It's about the fourth tackle. Flint with the ball, doesn't make much ground, but they're holding the ball for their series of tackles. One over that tags in for five. They're about Chase, 35 Chase. metres out, the ball is going to be kicked. It is kicked. Beautifully stopped by Gat. It's decided to run wide. Very hard to get any footing on this uh, it was very, very sloppy pitch. Ebo decides to run to the blind side. He's met by three or four defenders. One of them take him. They've coughed the ball up again. I can't remember the last time they held it for six. Again, Macquarie Mount pressure. Flint again, he's been involved since he came on. Again, the pressure is sustained. It's not dramatic, but it's sustained. Well, Macquarie University attacking here, a real precarious position for CCE. And it goes to Tamayan running. He's made yards today. They've got to put him on the deck. That's a fourth tackle. He'll get up to play it. Palmer, he's looking for runners. He's tackled. That's a fifth. And it's a little chip, and it's, it's a knock-on. And it's got to be a scrum. His forwards were working on down there for where Brownie and um, Fitz and Daniel Evans working, getting warmed up. Three replacements. So I think it's a must. So I think Dave Daly's really got to put them on and bring people off. Refresh reserves is what they need. They really need to try and bust this defence and get the ball up the other end of the field. Macquarie University take nothing away from them. They've really been um, playing well this second half. Oh, it's a CCE ball. That's a Macquarie ball, sorry. They're about three yards out from the line, and they're really pressing in there. Anyway, he's gone out. That's good defence there from CC. They've really got to get this ball from the scrum. I'm not sure what's been happening in these scrums, but I think Macquarie University have been um, screwing them in somewhat. Therefore, um, the ball's been coming out in the, the boots, wrong direction. The ball, the scrum's packed. It's got to be a CC ball. It is. Hampo's got to wrap it around himself. Two more tackles. They've got to get rid of it. They've got to get it down here. He'll play the ball. Like that Baker. Baker has a run. Can't go. Market defence has just been very sound and very solid from Macquarie Uni. Gets up to play the ball. He goes Hampo. He has a run down the blind side. There's two tackles. They've made five yards. He gets up to play it now. Back he has it. Daniel. Daniel kicks it. They've got to have the chases. Smitty's one who's there. The winger's got it. He hasn't fumbled. He's, Smitty's got him. Market defence. Everyone's got to get up there and regroup and organise themselves and keep pressure on them. Palmer. Had it goes to um, Jono. He's had a run. You gotta, 
really maintain defence and keep intensity. Anyway, forwards are in there from a CC trying to um, maintain the, the onslaught of the attack from Macquarie. Brian Johnson has a run. That's the fourth tackle. He gets away one. And Whitey's got the ball. He's tackled. They've got a fill in the gap in the middle. They've got to hold the ball. Palmer, here's the run. He's fleet footed in this. Oh, he's made a break. Palmer, he's mugging. Oh, he's stepped in. His tackle was 15 yards out from the CC line. It's the fifth tackle. He plays it. Back to Grumley's dummy half. A small chip in the end goal area. And Baker lets it go. Oh, no. He throws it dead. It's got to go back to the try line. This has been 15 minutes of intense football. All on CG's um, inside their 22. Will they fold or will they last for the rest of this game? Only time will tell. Hey? Did you have a beer, mate? <laughs> I need one. Anyway, back to the action. It's a goal line dropout. Mark Baker to kick off. He kicks it. It's not too bad in the wet, but Johnson traps it. No, Flint traps it. And he moves up and he's taken in defence by Smith. They're 15 yards out from the CSU line. Taking a while to play the ball. He's trying to look for a penalty, I think, in that position. He plays it. Back to Grumley. And he goes to Whitey. Whitey looking for support. And he's pushed. He's pushed over on the ground. He gets up to play the ball now for Johnson. Johnson runs straight. There's a reserve on there. I think it's Daniel Evans. Daniel Evans has gone on. Who's he replacing? Hooker's having a run. He's, he's getting close. There it goes to Grumley. He's looking for a runner. He's got Timon. Timon runs hard. And he, oh, he hasn't lost the ball. Daniel Evans is in there to assist. Timon will get up to play it. Back to the hooker. Out to Palmer. Inside runner. Inside runner's Flynn. He's a ball player. They've got to watch him. And he's lost it. It's a CCE ball. And Smith has got it. Oh. And it's a penalty to Macquarie. Right in front. Oh, 15 yards to the left hand side of the upright. But five yards out from the line. They'll take it back. And they'll have a shot for goal. It's going to be a shot for goal. No question. No question. CCE. They're in their own 25. They've been there for the last 10 minutes. They've got to get out of there. Macquarie University have really been intense. <laughs> a few Macquarie supporters, a few um, Warnsby supporters here yelling out and Calling out, obviously they're vo they're um calling out against the CCSI. They're such a been a champion club this year, not in eighty eight. Club champions won the third grade, but came runners up in second grade. All three grades in the grand final. It's two 0 but they're not out of it yet. Okay, the goal kicker, he balances, he's ready. Moves in, he strikes it, looks alright, and there it is. That's four points to nil in favour of Macquarie University here at the David Phillips Oval as the sun shines over David Phillips. As you can hear, the Macquarie Hornsby University, Hornsby side calling out. CC really need to regroup themselves. A big kick into this far left-hand corner and maintain pressure. They've got to get a try. They've got to kick the goal. Baker kicks off as far as he can get it. They've got a chase right up into the goal mouth. We need to rely on a Macquarie University error. He takes the ball up and he's tackled. First time this half, CCE have been in the Macquarie University 25. The ball's played now. Back it goes to Whitey. Whitey has a run. He missed beach one. There's a lost ball there. But no, it's a knock on. This is a real opportunity for CCE. It's their loose. It's their feed. They must get the ball and assert some sort of pressure. Ball's in from Hampson. That's a penalty to CCE. Anyway, Mud's obviously said to Baker, he wants it, um, doesn't want to tap, he wants... No, it's a penalty shot because it was mouthing off. It's not a scrum infringement. Sorry, it's headbutting I hear from the meteorologist expert, Pat Prio, it's headbutting. Well, Mark Baker's going to have a shot at goal. Well, it's either take the shot or put pressure. So he's really got to try and make, make sure that he gets his kick. There's time off from the referee. Some comments here from Mark Riggs. <coughs> yeah. 
Gee, I just can't wait till Millsy's little sister gets a bit older. <laughs> well, you heard it. You heard it. Paddy Prio, weatherman, successful third grade coach, bird watcher, purveyor of all things living and walking. Interesting decision here by Baker to decide to go for the goal. Four points to nil. Four points to nil, the score. The conditions are wet and sloppy. And CCE have been under sustained pressure for a long period of time. They just get down here and then they've decided to kick for goal. Well, I hope he kicks it. And indeed he has. No, he indeed he has not. I'm not so sure that was the right option still. It's easy to talk after the, after the kick. Very easy to talk before the kick. It's easy to talk any time. The replacement in the Macquarie University side. minutes remaining in this encounter. Back into the central missionary position with Dick. Well, it's, um, we've got Daniel Evans on there. I think we've got more replacements coming on here for CCE. We've got um, the prop coming off for Macquarie Uni. It's that drop ball. It's knocked back. Errors, errors, errors. It's a penalty there for offside. I can't see why. I can't see how. 49 yards out from their own line, right in front. <laughs> Macquarie University have got a penalty. As far as I'm concerned, it never came from an offside position. The ball's been tapped. He's been taken ahead by Matt Flint. They're just going to work yards. They're just going to take it up as far as they can go inside the CCU territory. Johnson takes it up. You've got to get him low. He takes it up. They've got to hold on to that ball. CC have got to get the ball. Here it goes to Palmer, it's Timon. Timon runs hard. He gets up to play it. He plays it back. Here it goes now to Casey, the fresh replacement. And Bredman Casey had a good game in reserve grade. He's a big strong runner. Surprised he wasn't in the first grade lineup, but never mind. Here it goes from Palmer. Palmer looks for runners. He's got no one there. He's put on the deck. Granul Evans. Evans, great defence. He's come on, he's really showing his worth. Big strong player. Anyway, it's a kick and it's going to go close to the touch line, but Baker's there. Baker steps, he can't beat the defence, there's three Macquarie players there. So, so you really need to get back in there, the forwards. Gaddy's made yards, he's beaten one, will he beat any more? No, he's, he's made some yards forward. We've got to get the kick in. They've got two, three lines of defence Macquarie Uni. Down the blind, hand, blind side there. Plays the ball back now. Back to um, Baker, Baker kicks, they've got to be chasers. The ball bounces. It's about 30, 30 yards out from Macquarie's line. Three CU players there. Smitty gets there. He can't make the tackle. But that's a great tackle there from Fitzy. Fitzy makes a good tackle. He gets up the play. Oh, the referee. Oh, he's blown his whistle premature as far as I'm concerned. <laughs> Penalty to Macquarie. They'll take a tap. And they take it up. Matt Flint takes the ball. Bumps off one. He plays the ball from the, on the halfway line. Back he goes now to Casey. Casey takes it up. He's met by three CC forwards. He's put on the deck. Casey, it's a slow game. Macquarie using the time as Timon takes it forward. He's taken by Anderson. CC offside out here. Grumley looks for yards. He's made yards there in the middle of the rug. It's the fourth tackle. They're 30 yards out from, 40 yards out from the CCU line, Palmer. And it's a small kick ahead. And it's picked up well by Pete Skinner. Skinner picks the ball up. And it goes now to um, Dell Blow. He has tries to have a run, but can't get too far. Can I just have a mouthful of Mud takes the ball up hard. Surely CCU got to clear the ball earlier. I've got to make one comment though, the beer is getting a lot colder than what it was earlier in the day, which is making things a lot more pleasant up here in the stand. Back to you, Dick. 
Thanks for the um, very important comments, but uh, I just think the beers are going to be chilly cold, icy cold, back at the clubhouse tonight. Now, as the ball's been knocked back, so I have not adapted to this, these weather conditions. They need to function up the other end of the field. That's a kick, and it's going up to the sideline. Palmer's there. Is it going to go out? It's going to be a great kick. They've got a chase. There's two there. They've got to put him down. He can't beat any tackles. See, so yeah, we've got to organise their defence. Plays the ball. That's another tackle. That's the first tackle. They're about 35 yards out from their line. Plays the ball. Johnson has a run. He beats one. He bumps off another. That's a strong run from Johnson. CCU is going backwards. The ball's played. Now it goes to Casey, the fresh replacement. He makes yards. He bumps off one. He bumps off two. And he's put on the deck. Macquarie Uni doing well. No tries this game. Two goals. It's 4-0 in favour of Macquarie University. Baker there. Traps it with his feet. Moves up. He can't beat the first tackle. Yes, he does. He does again. He's beaten two tackles. Good run from Mark Baker. They're 35 yards out from their own line. Dummy half. Fitz. Fitz passes it back to Emma. Out to um, Millsy. Out it goes to Darrell. Inside. He's looking for support. Is he... Picked up on the half volley by Marty. Oh, inside. Oh, yes. And it's a great run. CCE backing up. They're playing drive with the football. The crowd's very appreciated. Hands is what they want. They want hands. It's Daryl low. And it goes to Millsy. Millsy made a break. He's looking for support. Inside. Inside. Oh. And he's tackled. Has he lost the ball? Oh, he's lost it. That's the best passage of play we've seen here all game. What a great passage of play from CCE. If they went to... If they scored that try, then I reckon the roof, the roof would have fallen down here. <laughs> Macquarie, they've got Macquarie thinking. So, so you really, with 10 minutes to go, they're starting to assert some sort of um, attack. Get up and play the ball. Everyone's yelling out, you mug, you play the ball. There it goes. The Timon, he makes a run. He's hit hard. He's put on the deck. He's made good yards. So, so you've got to maintain discipline in defence. Dummy half has a run. That's the third tackle. He'll get up to play the ball very slowly. There's more time to go than they think. The winger has a kick. Skinny winger. Good kick. Out it goes to Gaddy. Is it going to make the touch? Yes, it is. That's a good kick. Gaddy couldn't do much there. It was a heavy ball. He would have made the error if he tried to catch it. 40 yards out from CCU's line. Back to our meteorologist expert for a um, quick update. You just wanted a break, young Dickie. CC win, but I think it knocked on and Macquarie ball. Five metres just outside the halfway as Timone runs the ball up. Good tackle under there. Young Bone stalling for time. He's a champion at that. Millsy it was, sorry. 5-8 runs it up. Millsy, ball and all tackle. Good play. I commented before, CC have got to play the ball down the other end of the field. They're not kicking enough on early tackles. Good defence from Marty. The fresh reserves having good impact for CCE. Plenty of keenness there from Brownie, Daniel Evans and Fitzy. Slow play the ball again from Macquarie. Bake safe as a bank. Back to you, Dick. I think he's had a mouthful. Okay, ball's played. And it's taken up there. Mamadi. He gets up to play the ball now. Back it comes to Fitz. He has a strong run. They've got to get the ball up the other end of the field. He plays the ball. This is a very intense grand final. This is what grand finals are made of. The hands out. Hamper makes a run. Oh, he can't get through that first line of defence. Good run there from Steve Hampson. Had it goes now to Daniel. He's looking for runners. The ball's back. Had it goes to Brownie. Brownie makes a run. Go, Brownie. Oh, he slides on the ground. That's the fifth tackle. But there's holes starting to appear in the Corrie Uni's defence. It's a small chip. And it's Pico. He's held the ball. It's the ball. And it's a knock on by CC. And there's a replacement going on. Number 16 from Macquarie University. And number 14 for CC. And he's retracing Paul Lynch. Has been replaced by Paul Gillen.
He's got a good round of applause for Lynch. He's a tireless worker. He never stops. Lynchy, a great game. Obviously, he's disappointed to be taken off. Palmer has a run from dummy half. He's tackled. Dummy half has a run. It's 4-0 in favour of Macquarie University. This is an upset as far as I'm concerned. Still not over yet. They're working for time. They're trying to play it to the middle of the field. CC, they'll never stop. He's playing the ball slowly. Okay, goes to the reserve. He takes it on. He goes to Johnson, takes a run. He makes it hard. They put him in the leagues and they put him on the deck. It's a fifth tackle. What are they going to do? They're going to have to kick for line. Oh, and they try and run it. They tried to run it then. It's a CCU ball. It could be the last throw of the dice. I'm not sure how long to go. Tomo. Sean. There goes that Marty. He runs straight. He bumps one off. He's going to get up to play the ball. Plays it back now. Down the blind side. It's very difficult to see here with the mud in their numbers. He's trying to work out their faces. He plays it back now. Head it goes to Hampo. He looks for Millsy. Millsy has a run. He's caught by the hooker. He'll get up to play the ball. He's entangled with the other player. He plays it back now. Head it goes to Daniel. Looking for a runner. He's got Fitz running off him. That's a fifth tackle. What are they going to do? It's a kick for line, and the wingers taking it. And he's there, equal to the task. Daniel Anderson, a great tackle. He'll play the ball. We've got to force an error. And he go play the ball. That's a penalty to CCE. They've got to take the kick for line. Baker, it is to take the kick for line. And he's kicked it. He's going 10 yards. CCE, it's the last throw of the dice. <laughs> Skinner to take the tap. He takes it here, and they can't lose the ball. They've got to score a try, CCE. Mud takes the ball straight there. They've got to move on here. We'll soon see. Is it handcuffs? Is it Igor? Inside runner, he's gone. Oh no. They're five yards out. Something must happen. Something must happen. They're very close to the line. It's a play the ball. It's a fifth tackle. What's going to happen? It's a kick. Where is it going? It's the Macquarie ball. Macquarie have taken it. One metre outside their line. Sean. Thompson. Tomo. Dummy half has a run. Four minutes left for play. It's 4 0 in favour of Macquarie University as another reserve goes on. <laughs> Macquarie Uni, dummy half having a run. They're going to make mistakes, hopefully, for CCE. Plays the ball, looking for another forward. CCE defence is equal there to the task. It's 4 0. What a complete contrast to last year's grand final. 34 to 38 to 24. That's a fifth tackle. There's four minutes left for play. CC have got to get do something here. There's a hole in the middle of the field. Is there an opportunity for a score here? CC really need to rely on their fresh reserves. Paul Gillen, Fitz, and Brownie. They must bust the defence. But full credit to Macquarie in his defence. They've played out this game. They've played well. But it's not over yet. Baker, there's a kick, but it's gone backwards. Who's going to get on this? It's going to be a um, handbows back there for CC. Macquarie have got the ball. They're 40 yards out from CC's line. Plays the ball back. It goes to first pivot. He has a run. He's tackled. He's put on the deck. There must be only three minutes left. It's a penalty at Macquarie University. Macquarie University have got a penalty. 35 and a half yards out. He's marched them. Penalty just 22 yards out from CCE's line. 10 minutes for Millsy in the sin bin. That's the end of Millsy. He'll be coming off. He won't see the game out, unfortunately. He's a great player. It's a shot at goal. There's two minutes left.
Mills. Probably the best 5'8 in the competition without a doubt. Rep 5'8. He's disappointed. He's angry at the referee. He's frustrated. A kick for goal. It can't be too long to go. Well, I think everyone's come here today to try and barrack for Macquarie. Seriously, being the champion club, they don't want him to win another grand final. He moves in. There it goes. It's high. He's missed it. He's kicked it dead. It's a drop out. It's a 22 drop. There's got to be about, I'd say, 30 seconds left. 30 seconds left in favour of CC. It's a drop kick by Baker. Into the mud here. Taken by number 17. He moves. He's knocked it on. It's going to be a scrum. It's the last scrum of the game. Last throw of the dice. CC must score in these six tackles. They must score in these six tackles. Hampo to feed it. It's a penalty to CCE. He's got to kick it out, Bakey. He's got to gain 20 yards with his kick. It's a good kick. He's gained yards. So, so yeah, it's the last throw of the dice. They've got to do something here. Goes to Daniel Dan Daniel Evans takes it up. He's met by a wall of defence. It's a good tackle from Macquarie. Plays the ball. Hampo. Hampo looks for room to move. Inside to Daniel Anderson. Daniel Anderson. He's tackled. He plays the ball back now. Out it goes to Hampo. He steps. He's fast. He's tackled. He gets up to play it. Who's next? Had it goes to inside ball to flash. Oh, he's dropped it. It's picked up. It's a knock on. There can't be too much time to go. It's a oh, sorry, it's a Macquarie ball. They're tackled. I think this year is going to be Macquarie University's year. Not the better side this year, but the better side on the day. They've played the conditions. They've adapted to the conditions better than CCE. He's getting up slow to play for the ball. Sean Thompson's down there. He's blowing the whistle. They're tackled. They've won the competition. Macquarie University, they've won it. Congratulations to them. Here today on a game that's very wet. It's an upset as far as we're concerned. CCE have lost 4-0. Macquarie University, hats off to them. They deserve to win. CC were gallant in defeat. Definitely, the conditions of the day upset them when that thunder, when that terrific hailstorm came down. You can see by their guernseys and by the stand of the gr ground um, how it just didn't affect their play. All their pace men were restricted in their movements. Obviously, the best team throughout the year. The grand final conditions, the weather has just not suited the side and they're extremely lucky to win. It's a shame that dickhead McGarrity is captain on the back. They might catch something from that. <laughs> yes, he's wiping off there. Yeah, so yeah. Brownie, wipe off those germs, buddy. <laughs> to Macquarie's captain's credit, he played a very good game, an excellent game. The conditions certainly suited him today. And if there's only one person that deserves a win, perhaps he does but I don't think there's anyone else. Sean removes the dilde from his flaming ass and the other one from his mouth. He talks. Thank you, Sean.
good afternoon was had by all and plenty of hail. I congratulate them on a fine performance. Commiserations, do see, see, hey. My only question is, will we still go back to the El Ranch home? No, we're not going near it. Very soon we should catch on camera the money changing hands for the coup that was organised for Macquarie to win the competition. He's just thanked the mud. This man has respect, everyone's listening. That's a controversial one. dressed examples of Hornsby the beautiful example the gorgeous it's about time they scrubbed up these boys because they haven't done it all year thanks for coming fellas you're great <laughs> 